All right, what, are gonna, what I have to do next is put uh, this 400 yards of 200 pound Dacron on the 130 that uh, has no line on it at all. And we do that a little bit differently. With This is my lathe. It's an old Delta lathe. And I took two pieces of plywood, glued it together, and put a, glued a piece of maple on there that I turned down to a bit of a point. And I put a screw in there to kind of hold the spool. And I've got a, a point on this side, so I'm going to put the spool of Dacron in between there. And then I'm going to spool that onto my 80 first. And then I'll spool it from the 80 to the 130 uh, with you know the appropriate amount of pressure for the wet packing treatment. So I'll set this up and see how this works. All right, just to see how much drag there is just spinning the lathe motor. We'll just uh, set the scale and see what it says. All right, so it's not very much. Look like uh, like four, four or five pounds, which is really not enough. So, what I've what I've rigged up here is is a brake mechanism. I'll I've taken this piece of rubber kind of eraser like material that's used to clean sandpaper and i've screwed it to that two by four and then i put a few clamps down there to serve as guides for the two by four and that's going to ride against um, this this thing here like a brake drum and i'm going to take a bungee cord and bungee that on there like a, a brake drum and see how much torque how much uh, torque that produces all right, now I get the, the brake rigged up with the bungee. And uh, we'll see how much torque produces now, how much force. Now it's like, uh, it's like around 12, 13 pounds, so go with that. Okay, so here. There I am, starting to wind it on. The lathe is over there. To hear more of my conversation with Edgar, and, uh, and it's all set up with the brake. And I'm kind of holding it here with to my, my knees, and I'm just going to crank it on, on, crank it all onto the 80, and then I'll put it back the onto the 130 the and the with the reel-to-reel -reel setup. Oh, this is a lot of work. <laughs> Getting there. I hope there's enough room on this 80 spool for uh, 400 yards of uh, 200. All right, I'm all set to go reel to reel now from the 80 onto the 130. So that's what an 80 looks like with 400 yards of 200 pound uh, Dacron, Dacron on it. It's uh, the tough line uh, Dacron that was measured off at 400 yards. It's about a quarter inch to f before the uh, bar on the 80. All right, here we go. It's pretty tight. This reel doesn't have low. This is just the one speed, the old 130. Spool is this empty? I guess it is like a low. Well, I like this T handle. It's much easier on the wrist than that other standard default uh, stock handle. Gotta pick up a couple more of those at some point after a paper. And Good boy, everything else, like a rod Okay, getting near the end with this 200 pound Dacron. I need my glove. Okay, getting near the end with this 200 pound Dacron. It's, it's amazing how how tight how much how many times I have to reduce the drag as we get near the bottom of the spool because the drag you know essentially 
more than doubles when the spool is half the size. And over here, <laughs> here the it's the, the uh, gear ratio effectively is increasing because the not the gear ratio, but the the amount of line that's coming on per turn, per turn as the diameter increases, and there the de drag is uh, increasing as the diameter of the spool is shrinking. So it get get to be pretty tough to wind it on. But anyway, getting near the end, 400 yards. The stop I got at first light angler when they were going out of business they had 400 yards left on the spool and he gave it to me for a good price I probably would have picked black on my own choice but I don't know if it really matters that much so it could be a top shot all right here we go at the end all right now the next one is the 80 I'll have to put the the uh, braid on that 